we go. Good day everyone. Today is the day when I'm gonna hit the ice. We're gonna put the fishnets under the ice. But before that, I need to fix my shoes a little bit. Then we're gonna do a little introduction. I have a special, special, special guest star, Arna. Once we go outside, I will uh, introduce the gear, what we're gonna use. And yeah, I borrowed the snowmobile, so it's not that struggle anymore. But yeah, today is the day we start fishing. But let's have a coffee and let's <laughs> prepare these shoes. under the ice. We have here a Lackström ice saw, then we have a Hermantaunta Tura ice spike, then we have a UR Auger and the submer submergible board is uh, from Veto and um, then I just have a simple fish hook to uh, pick up the line and the T-bar is for picking up the line under the ice once we launch the board and then you need to shovel and then of course I have a fishnet Okay, first of all, we create the line, which is the length of the fishnet, plus 5 meters. I have a 65 meter line here, and I'm gonna walk that way 65 meters, and then mark the area where the board should end up. take the plaque with me so I have a point to aim. I haven't done this in a year so So this is the submergible fishnet board and uh, you will put this under the ice and it's floating so it goes against the ice. Then here is this kind of a very sharp spike and this is a spring and once you pull the board backwards the spring will uh, get tension and once you release the line the board will go forward and here you have uh, this kind of sharp uh, plate this will be uh, uh, guiding the board and then there is also a pin on the other side so it keeps it more stable on the course but we will see I have a little trick I have a LED light which is flashing red and a couple of cable ties so
Just make a secure knob here to uh, ensure that the board doesn't disappear. It's my neighbor's board, and uh, this is so out, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna get into trouble. Just gonna. A bit. That should be fine. There we go. Okay. Wish me luck. First pull, there she goes. And I have a 130 30 meter line. I can pull it through, through the, there, so I don't need to, I don't need to walk back and forth all the time. You don't want to pull this too hard because otherwise you might lose the track. Okay, now I have 65 meters line under the ice and I'm going to take the gear and head up to the other end and I'm trying to find the board and I pick up the line. <laughs> okay, everything didn't go so smooth. So uh, the board was perfectly lined, but then I started up the snowmobile and I forget the other end was still attached to the snowmobile. So Pretty much I fucked up the whole process. I broke one of the flags because the board was uh, stuck on that. But yeah, there is the other end of the line I have to take it back. So yeah, I'll try again. And we will see how that works. Now we are at the other end. And it's been a bit struggle. Let's try to make the hole. This is the T-bar and you will put it under the ice, then you twist it on a 90 degree angle and we have a little screw here and once you are rotating it under the ice, you, if you are lucky, you catch the line.
Nothing. Another hole. Another hole. Second try. Going under the ice. Yeah, where I did the starting uh, hole, the ice was clear and I thought it would be nice to just to see the LED flashing through the ice, but here is a different conditions, so it's a bit uh, rough here and uh, there is no visibility. But let's see. I'm gonna I will uh, try to pull the line a little bit if I can hear the board under the ice. Let's try this. All right, I might be su successful. 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 It's quite far off on the left-hand side because the board is a bit curved, uh, so it doesn't keep the track. But I'm, I just ordered some uh, parts, and uh, I'm planning to do one, and maybe we replace the part of my neighbor's board too. So it will be more stable keeping the course. But now fingers crossed. I don't need to uh, make uh, another 7,000 holes here. Let's light right here. No, I thought I felt something. Nothing. Let's test again.
Yeah. How about the year? There we go. Please stay. No. I can see. Now we are close. Yes! We got the... We got the line. You know, when you are doing this alone, it might be a bit like this. Okay. Alright. So the board is here. So now I'm going to attach these lines as a loop so I can uh, pull the board back to the main hole. And then I'm going to uh, take some uh, equipment here and I'm going to uh, prepare the, this end for the line. Okay, so now we have the line under the eyes. I will prepare the secondary hole. So the fishnet has been here overnight and we'll see do we have any fish hopefully. Yesterday I was uh, uh, setting up the fishnet but the, I ran out of battery so it wasn't so smooth but today is a better day. I get a little help from my neighbor too. But today is a better day, so we go and uh, check the fishnet now. Okay, now we are at the main hole. I'm gonna change my gloves. I just attached the line to the other end, and now I have the other end here. So once I start pulling the net, the line will run through the holes and uh, I will get the fishnet here and once I have done it I will uh, just pull the line and the fishnet goes back under the ice. It's already uh, freezing, I just opened this, opened this like a half an hour ago. 
It's already frozen. Uh, we got the line. All right, second try. Let's see. Do we have any fish? Okay. Now the line is running. Yeah. And I try to pull the net as less as possible on the ice because when it's in the water it doesn't freeze. And the first fish is here. This is awesome. Hopefully we can get her up. We have a fresh white fish. Right away, what do you do with this? You knock them off, you cut the throat. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, by the way, I have a this little friend here. Arna. Okay, go away. Stay a bit close. Maybe sit a yeah. So, at least one fish for today. So I got fresh food. That's a nice white fish. So there was only one fish in the net. And uh, it's a and now I'm gonna pull it back under the ice and then we're gonna come tomorrow. I'll come back here tomorrow. Yeah, Arna is supervising my work. This is way easier if you have a, another person to help you. So you don't need to do all the pulling, you can uh, just make sure the net goes easily below the ice, but this is okay. There are many different ways to do it, this winter fishing, but this is kind of the style what I have learned and uh, adjusted to my own preferences. But I bet every, every time when you come to the ice you will learn something, how you could do it better. But always the seasons first. Fishing trip is a bit of a learning trip. Okay, almost there. And 
there I got my uh, 65 meter mark so it's fine now I'm just gonna put the loose line back there and that's it now I'm gonna just go to the other end and uh, uh, unattach this uh, orange line from the net and then put the uh, submergible line back there and uh, put it back in the, in the hole. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit the like. See you next time. No need need to let it with it. I have one trick. I forget to buy the reel for the fishing line, so I'm just gonna attach it to uh, the hook and drive to my cabin so it will be following me and it, it's not tangled. <laughs>